uh, we deal with the uh, uh, soft skills in the beginning and then switch over to the communication aspect of it. I deal with the uh, process of actually giving them a lot of self-confidence, uh, instilling in them the uh, effect and the benefits of a, having a positive attitude and constantly telling them that you can do it and you can make it. Now, when we have these kind of various different kind of uh, methods of teaching, uh, this brings out the assertiveness, the team building skills, the interpersonal skills, the time management skills, all the soft skills which are necessary for a student to grasp. The ultimate uh, benefit and the happiness is at the end of the day when you see that very student who really couldn't actually speak in the beginning of the course, open his mouth and speak at the job interview, get his job and then make it at the US consulate. And that really, really gives me a very big sense of satisfaction. Now this is a, a feedback of the mock interviews that we had yesterday. Okay. And the, this happens to be the, you know, the final uh, mock interview oh, that we had. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, yes, after this, then they go straight for their uh, final <coughs> interview. Uh, working for a cruise has its standards and levels of expectation um, because it is a people industry, being in hospitality, we predominantly deal with passengers directly, face to face. So uh, one of the reasons which is very important and expectations of the company from Carnival to work on board is that we have a, a level of communication in terms of interaction, our body language, our skills in understanding, empathizing with the guest and uh, with working with crew as well and working particularly with different cultures is quite a challenging task as there are almost 40 nationalities working on board so our focus in communication is soft skills and uh, also in terms of their grooming and uh, interacting not only with passengers but among colleagues as well